Hey guys, John Loxa here, back with our blind playthrough of Corpse Party. There's Jack. Do you, do you want to move? No, you want to smell my coffee over there? Stand on my phone? Is that what you want? Don't step on the keyboard, please. Let's move this. Move this back away, because he's going to rub it with his face. Okay, so, last time we got a wrong end that really seemed like a true end, or a... I don't know if there is true endings, or if there's just multiple bad endings, or if they're all wrong ends from this point forward. You know, maybe one correct ending and all the rest are are incorrect. I don't know. Uh, last time I did talk about looking up a possible spoiler-free walkthrough to try and figure out what path I need to take or what I need to do. I did not do that. Uh, instead, what we're going to try... So I have, I have two thoughts. The first thought... You're so cute. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Oh, yeah, he moved the mouse into the, into the way. Okay, there we go. Uh, the first thought is load the... Really? He's chewing on the spring that holds the microphone up. My thought is, load this one. Okay, do what you want. Load this one, see if I have to go back into the door. Uh, because going back into the door is what caused us to find the picture, and that um, advanced the rest of the plot. So maybe instead of going up, I need to go down and find some other item. Probably not, but we'll try it. The other option, because I'm it's it's entirely possible. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm still in the second wing. Did I not even get a chance to save? Right, acquired the mini DV tape. Interestingly enough, I didn't have to pick that up. Because this door was open, so I could have just gone back. Maybe. Okay, I'm a little, a little confused now, I suppose. Let's... Okay, so we're gonna try this. Jack's over there cleaning his face. Man, that really looks like there's something behind it. We're gonna see if... Right, well, let's... Uh... I assume I read it already, right? Part three. Right. Right, we have read that. Ugh. Right. Presumably, this is the door into those... maybe the caves that I found earlier? Alright. I don't... I don't know where I'm going. Up there and to the right is... that other where the others were, I think. Right, I don't know if Ayumi's gone crazy yet. I really don't want to see those two right now. So she hasn't burned it yet. I think she just freaked out on him. Did we see this? I don't know if we ever went down here. Okay. Read the thing on the wall. Entry into Japan's Empire of Japan secret expulsion to all trespassers. Uh, no entry trespassers will be expelled. Think about your futures. CT Garb 
uh, is watching you all. Japan is watching you down with trespassing. All right. What's with all the stuff about trespassers? That doesn't make any sense. And I don't know if this will... It does seem like we can't actually do anything at the moment. Hmm, what is this? Yeah, okay, what about you? No, what about this? Dead black bugs. It's weird, because I thought I had saved, but maybe not. So then my other thought was going to be, oh. How do I get over there? Because I remember this because of the, what I thought it was, but strange. Well, whatever. Okay, so we watch this. Right, aren't we in this room? What's the smell? Eek. Okay, we're gonna crawl through. And then we climb up the ladder. And then I believe this is where Naomi, or not Naomi. Right, shows her the text. And then we're here, and this is where Ayumi burns the paper. Right, at this point I think it's... I think it's toast already, because she's going crazy. She burns it. See, I don't... And it, yeah, this is the whole... weird thing. Like, I feel like... I mean, obviously it's a wrong ending, but... Right. Reference room. Like, I, I feel like I couldn't get to this place before, which is weird. Right, what is this? Student ID tag. Whoa, whoa there, Jack. Don't don't be moving that mouse. Right, I was just on the other side. I don't quite know how I got here. Corpse. Strange but true. We've read this. Then what? Okay, right, we switched to them. And at this point, it switches back to Ayumi after we... Right, right, this is where I wanted to go. Uh, I don't... Did we come out this room? Yes, we did. Okay, we don't want to go in there. We want to explore and see if there's another option. Probably not. Door is fixed. I mean, I, th I think we're essentially set on the path at this point, and there's probably nothing we can do. But we'll explore, and then that's all we can do. Oh, this is different. Okay, so don't find the picture. Right, because you go back in there and that's when they they see the envelope and find the picture of Yuka being scared. 
corpse. And this is the room with the pentagram. I still have no idea how Ayumi got over here. That doesn't make any sense. Because she was in a different place. Unless it's like the whole nightmare thing from... Uh, you know, the end of Silent Hill, the first one. Okay, has this changed? It's black magic or witchcraft. What's happening? Head is throbbing. Why isn't anyone coming to help me? Nosebleed now. Need tissue. Uh, pulled out her student ID. Right, and then she loses her scrap of paper. Now, the other question, I don't think Miss Shishida was killed by Ayumi, but... Unless Ayumi did, because she's like, she was like, Wah! Or, no, maybe not. Come on, you're almost there. That. Uh... I'm so sorry. I can never take back what I've done. Maybe she did kill her. Okay, so she goes over here. She finds the darkened one now. Although, honestly, that doesn't really make... Well, who knows? Okay, so it's treating this as if we did go back through and found the picture. Okay. Right, so this is basically just brings us back to the same one. Right, and see there's a save point there, so we're gonna come down here originally, or eventually. So this must be the same thing that the because in the original game, you go through the incinerator and there's like, below it, there's another area full of corpses and stuff. Which I assume is, this is what it's supposed to be. Yep, she gra had a rock. But... Well, okay. So that did not do anything for us. All right. That was my first thought, and that did nothing. So it is... <sighs> what is kind of annoying, though, is... Like, it, it skips stuff. Like, even what we did last time with this, like, there was, like, the whole not finding the picture and, and all that. Maybe the, maybe the true ending is all of the scenes. That's entirely possible. So let's continue again. Or wait. No, we wouldn't want to continue. We would want to do a new game. Because what we're going to do, unfortunately is so as far as I can tell there's there's the initial choice with Yuka choosing to either confront Kizami or stay silent presumably staying silent does le eventually leads to a bad ending as well uh, but we're gonna try the run for, from Kizami and then follow Sachiko so that the 
the hammer dude comes in, hits Kizami, and Yuka escapes. And then we'll see what happens there, because at that point, I think it goes back to Ayumi and Yoshiki. I can never remember his name. <laughs> Yosh Yoshi Yoshiko? I don't, I don't know. Him, and it gives us that choice. <laughs> yep, okay. He's like, hey, what's up? Uh, was that you? Am I gonna... I am your big brother. Can I move yet? Alright, so at least now we get this. So we're gonna save. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll save at the top. Because everything is screwed. All those save files, I'm, I'm pretty sure, are screwed at this point. So, we're going to go here, we're going to find this. Right, loses her shoe. Yep. Alright, run. Am I in control yet? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we have to juke around him. That's the plan. Oh, don't get caught. Do not get caught. Does her sprite show that she's wearing one, only one shoe? I believe it does. So back up. We're gonna go this way. Yep, yep, yep. Little tiny cutscene where it takes control away from you for a second. Basically, we just have to loop around. Loop around, grab the key. I think we go down. So I'm I'm curious what happens if he actually catches her in here. Presumably it ends up the same way. I saw him there for a second. Yep. All right. Thankfully the pathing is not super great. Like he just gets stuck. Take it. Yes. All right. Give me control. There we go. There's that eek. And we'll save. <laughs> Over this one, that's fine. Because we could still get caught by him if we wanted. Door is open, let's go. Then we are going to... follow Sachiko down. Or... Right, so she... Right, if I do go this way, does she automatically run north? Oh! Front entrance might as well be painted on, neither opening nor giving any hints it will ever open. That's odd, but as long- Oh! Wait! Yuka-chan. Yuka-chan. Onisa. So it doesn't matter which way. If you go left or right, the same thing happens. Let's skip all of this. 
And... This again, back to this. And then he's gonna refuse to go back. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know. I guess what happened where if you, you get the choice and then you, you refuse is what happens here. He's like, I'm going home and then he doesn't. All right, so we're gonna quit. Yes. Also, I'm not sure that I really like the main characters going crazy like that. Or at least Ayumi. Uh, it just kind of... Hey there again, Jack. It just feels out of character for her. What What do you want? I know you want food. Would you like to get into my lap? Before I have to escape from the crazed weirdo again? He's not a good weirdo like you are, Jack. He's a bad weirdo. Mm. It's instant coffee. I didn't want to make a whole pot. Because it's starting to get later in the afternoon, but... Just enough to keep the edge of the tiredness off. Right, Jack. Okay, you just stay there. Don't walk on the keyboard. By the way, if you, um... So on this channel... I've kind of been thinking more about what I want to do with the channel, and, and basically more... More of this. More unique, interesting games that hopefully I can provide interesting commentary with. And, uh... Because Jack's wandering around, so I had to bring that up for a second, but... Uh, but interesting games that hopefully I can give decent reactions to and provide interesting commentary with. And one of the games that I played, would you like to get in my lap, Jack? Come on. Come on. No? You just want to sit there? Well, thank you for not stepping on the keyboard. One of those games was a game called Eternal Daughter, which is free, because free is always good. And, uh, it's a Metroid Stylevania, Metroid style, Metroidvania style that the guy worked on for about, was it two years or five years? I don't remember, but it's free. It's older. It might take some uh, finagling to get working on your computer. But if you go to the, the first video in, in my playlist, uh, it... It shows the the link to that and the um, the patch as well that gets it to work on modern systems because it's done using using uh, what is it multimedia fusion, which is the, one of the precursors to Flash. Uh, but it's pretty it's actually pretty good, and uh, it turns out there's a reset button. F2, I think, resets the game. And Jack decided to step on the keyboard right after I beat, like, the second or third hardest boss in the game before I had a chance to save, and he reset the whole game, and I was just like, what did you do? And he knew he had screwed up, because he kind of, like, froze and stared at me, his ears, like, flicked a little bit, and I'm just like, what did you do? I didn't... I didn't smack him or anything, I just kind of held him. I'm like, I'm gonna hold you because you made me mad. All right. You can't click on that. But yeah, I recommend it. And I'm gonna try and do more stuff like that. Free is always, free and interesting is always good. Like there's plenty of like little indie games out there that are actually really good. And I just find that you get so much, so often today people are like, What's a good game that I haven't played? What's something unique? You know? This would probably be, probably be one of those. Right, Jack? He wants food. But Eternal Daughter is a good one as well. Gasp, pant, wheeze. Run, rabbit, run, gahaha. Rawr. Uh, 
you know, this brings up a question, which is, so presumably this is going to go the same way. Should I skip the text? We'll just click through it. Because we found Kazami's name tag, and it said he was killed, bludgeoned to death with a hammer, or, or whatever. So, presumably he always dies from Yoshikazu. Morishige. I don't know if we found his, though. Presumably there's a way that he could live. Am I ever thirsty? All right, if this goes to the flashback, we'll just we'll skip the flashback because that's going to be the same. Right. This, this could change, like this scene itself, but the flashback will not. Probably. You know, and... That brings up another question, too, which is why did he record the video? I'm hoping we get to some new stuff. You know, and, and he says this, like, oh, she should be really embarrassed to be in the afterlife or whatever, and she is, right? Like, he hears a ghost, like, don't look at me, oh, it's unsightly or whatever. Yep. I didn't quite pick up on that the first time, but... That what he was saying comes to pass. Yep. Is that it? Right. Okay. That's good voice acting. <laughs> Girl in the red dress. And I think he said One Piece. Alright. May have seen her ghost. I wonder, I assume this is probably the same. <coughs> Yeah, so, at least at this point, Yuka is still running around. And hopefully... Now it's entirely, it's entirely possible Miss Shishida will also be killed, so it's... Highly likely that uh, the original five will be the ones that survive, or the canon ones, right? Like, the newcomers are probably all gonna die. Don't let go. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. You know, they bring up the ceiling beam thing all the time, like in anime, but those things have to be super heavy. And I get the impression like if an actual like support beam fell, it would probably crush you. You know, you're, you're probably talking several hundred pounds of solid wood. Maybe even like, like 500. Because I mean, it has to be to support all the weight. Okay, so now she, we're back here. She had the vision of Sachko killing her. Right. Yoshiki. I'm never gonna remember his name. And I don't believe... 
So I know what happens. I assume if we choose the option to not go back, like for him to not go back, we probably just end up in the exact same place. Yuka probably dies. And uh, he probably shows up darkened. All right. Right. That's... yeah. Right. Well... I wouldn't recommend that. The spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. Come on, from Ochita. Right. This, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure the other option will screw things up and give us a wrong end again. Now, it might be a different wrong end, but at this point, I'm like... Let's see if we can go down the right path, and then I'll use a guide to uh, to find all the others. I somehow doubt also that this is the last choice. This is probably just... I don't know. I don't know. Because I've played visual novels before, and there's like, you know, you'll have like 30 choices, but... You know, they don't uh, do anything, really. All right, we'll go back. Fine, damn it, we'll go back. After all, I don't have a lot of real friends. I'd hate to lose the ones I do. Still, I am interested if uh, choosing that other one makes Yoshiki... I mean, he's having this realization now, but I think it was more powerful when he left... Or tried to leave, and then he's like, no, I really do value them. Like, he, he understands himself a little bit more. There was more character development, let's put it that way. I don't know. We shall see. I'd hate to lose the ones I do. What's that? What are you mumbling about? Also, he didn't confess to her. What's that? What are you mumbling about? Did I read that out loud? Nothing, nothing at all. I was hoping I could go see Miki just once more, but I guess I'll have to put that aside. Who's Miki? His little sister? Alright, so we're here. Hopefully she does not go crazy this time. All right, but we... I'm sorry, I really am, but I wish you the best of luck. So that candle also was not there. I don't think. Pretty sure it wasn't. It might have been. Wish you the best of luck. This is something I think Satoshi and the others may need. If you find them, please give it to them for me. Acquired marble statue. I don't remember anything like that in the first. I remember there were two statues, and there was like a... You had to put stuff in their hands. Actually, I kind of remember a marble statue or something, but... I don't know. Hmm? Why don't you give it to them yourself? Because she's following them around the school right now. I can't get close enough. She being Sachiko or someone else, Naho, perhaps. There's another statue like it though, a red one. If you find it, make sure they get that one too. A 
understood. I didn't see any place to put the statues. The three of us are prepared for the challenges ahead now that our tongues have been restored. But due to our momentary awakening, the balance of these closed spaces has begun to collapse. Be very, very careful. Also remember, in order for Sachiko to feel remorse, you must appeal to her humanity. You must purify her soul, it's the only way. My mind has already come under attack. So next time you see me, run. It's good advice. It's what Naomi should have done when she saw Ayumi that last time. She's gone. Yeah, for now, let's just focus on finding Satoshi, Miss Yui, and the others. But aside from Miss Yui, the only other people we've seen so far are Suzumoto and Morishige. And we explored pretty much everywhere. Are you sure the others are even here? Well, think about it. Remember the closed spaces? That first ghost we saw told us all about them when we got here with, with, uh, with Miss Yui. Basically, anyone we can't find is probably in another version of this school. Which is why we never ran into them. Is there something you failed to understand? Huh? Uh, no, I... yeah. But wait a minute, if that's the case, how the hell are we supposed to tell them about the murder? I mean, if we can't even find them. Yuki just told us how. She said the closed spaces have started breaking down. That might mean, should mean, that the connections between the dimensions are changing, too. So come on, let's try searching for them again, Miss Shishido and everyone else. Okay, got it. For real? When I say I got it, I got it, although... If it's not those child spirits summoning hordes of innocent people to the school and trapping them here until they die, then you kind of have to ask yourself who is responsible, you know? Yeah, wouldn't it be Sachiko then? Right? I mean, that's the point. Alright, still have time. Marble statue. A marble statue shaped like some sort of demon given to you by Yuki. Alright. We are here. Let us... Okay. Is she going to find the, the stall with the hole? And possibly... Well, you'd have to crawl through corpses, though. <coughs> Maybe I can hide them under here. Ooh, I, I can feel the air on my... Uh, it feels so weird. The air on her what? Foot? Hopefully. But I can't wear them. Oh, okay. But I can't wear them wet like that. It's gross. Got it. Yeah, when he... Well, yeah, we saw that when uh, Kazami kicked her, she pissed herself because she had been holding it the whole time. So, she's going commando now. Shove the... Underwear under the, the sink, I suppose. Can't wear them wet like that. It's gross. Wine. Eek. Uh, it's been nothing but earthquakes since we got here. I hope the school doesn't fall apart. Yeah. This is where Satoshi was. Big brother, big brother! Sob, hick, sob. <laughs> yep. Sashko's following her. Alright, so now we are here. Let's go back in and save. Just because I don't want to have to...
watch that classroom scene. Or, uh, don't have to watch that scene again if I don't have to. Let's try... Hey, does anything look different to you? Very. This isn't the same school we were in before. It's a totally different Heavenly Host. Yeah, and its creepy factor is through the roof. The chill in the air, the constant dark presence, it's all worse than ever. We need to find the others and get the hell out of here. Yeah. Skeletal remains. I don't know if I was supposed to come down, but... Let's try going down first. I'm being really slow because I don't want to... Oh. Okay. I was like, I don't want to trigger the story beat. Hey, Shinozaki, um... What is it? Are you hurt? You've got a whole lot of blood on your, erm, um, posterior. Huh? What? Are you serious? You scrape your butt on a piece of broken wood or something? It looks kind of pain- Shut the hell up already! Jeez, just look the other way for a minute! It is... Huh? God, does that boy have no concept of tact? Damn it all. What do I do about this? I don't have my gym bag here, so a change of clothes is out of the question. I really don't want to meet up with Mochita or the others looking like this, though. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. I can't take this anymore, Sob. Huh? What's that? Oh my god, it's a student ID from Kisaragi Academy. Someone we know must be nearby. I wonder whose it is. Ah, it's Nakashima's. No mistaking it, it's even still got the scrap of paper from the Sachiko charm. Alright, I'm used. Naomi's student ID. Shunzaki, what the hell is taking you so long? Hmm? Is that someone's student ID? There you go. Because she's probably still gonna go crazy. It's Nakashima's. She must be somewhere nearby. Nakashima, are you there? If you are, please answer me. Nakashima! Nakashima! Yeah, she's not that nearby. Let's look for her. She can't be far. Big brother, Nom. Heck, that's hot. Is she, like, blowing on his arm or something? Or biting him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yuka, honestly, who bites their sibling on the shoulder? Okay, a little flashback. Maybe, maybe tragedy is about to strike? I guess we'll see. And why are you blowing air on me? Whoosh, whoosh, hee hee hee. Big brother, it's time for dinner. Oh, is that later already? I'll be right down. Thanks. But next time, how about telling me rather than doing whatever it is you just did? No can do. Mom, big brother's on his way. Yeah, what a goofball. That's adorable. She left her door open again, too. Yuka, Irk. So he must be waking up. Guess that was just a dream. Irk, ow! Oh, my head is throbbing. It's pitch black, too. What happened? I remember there's a big earthquake. Hmm? What's this? There's something in my hand? It's really tender, like some kind of meat. What the hell am I... I think you'd feel the fabric, though, actually. Er... What? Uh, I... Uh, Satoshi? Satoshi? No, me, I'm so sorry. Please don't misunderstand. I didn't mean it. Satoshi, is your head okay? Yeah. A beam fell on your head during the earth, during the quake, and it started bleeding. Your face is really red. I guess it must. Hurt. I guess it must hurt. Thank you for shielding me. Uh, think nothing of it. And I'm fine. I'm not bleeding anymore. At least. You're not. And this is. 
Wow, this is incredible. What is this place? Where are we? Okay, we have seen this part before. Presumably, yeah, he mentioned this will get me the recognition I deserve, right? So he's just chasing uh, fame. Okay. Right. Don't touch anything. But they're talking about like, oh, I can't justify the danger without believing in the danger. Right. Okay. Still all seems the same. I kind of wish I had gone the other way, though, and found, uh... You know, finding all the victims might be a real pain. But we'll see. You know, if I beat it, I'll try and do all the extra endings and stuff, and then if I still miss some, then that's what the guide is for. Plus, we still have those extra... extra scenes. Okay. Let's see about getting to the second building. We can't pull on it. So Yuka is through here. And... What, what's going on? The school's completely changed. Wasn't just an earthquake. Wait, hold up a second. Where you've got splinters all over your back. Right, so now we are... Skeletal remains. Presumably this is... That's where they are right there. So we're going to go back. Are we in a different place now, or are we in the same place still? It's hard to know. Hard to know for certain. You know, it makes me wonder. Right, so this is where we found the... ID. Naomi's student ID name tag. She must have dropped it along the way without even realizing it. Uh, I mean, maybe. Okay. I mean, she wouldn't have dropped it in this location. That's the thing, because she was never over on this side. It's weird that these are shoes, but this, which looks... Pretty much the exact same is broken glass. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But whatever. Alright, so we are gonna go back. Back up this way. There's probably nothing up this way, but we'll check. We'll check just to be sure. See? Like, how do we end up over there? Okay, well, there you go. There you go. There's nothing. Let's go advance the plot. What's... Right, what's gonna happen with... Ayumi this time? Is she still gonna go crazy? Is... Uh, Yoshiki... Gonna keep her in check? I... I don't, I don't know. I assume he's gonna stop her from lighting the thing on fire. So we'll save, we'll save here. <sighs> Let's go see. Some stuff has changed. It, it really is. 
like all the extra like all the extra scenes are coming into play. Isn't that Satoshi? It's Satoshi and Nakashima. Yeah, I guess the closed spaces really have started to break down. Come on, right behind you, Satoshi Nakashima. Yoshiki, Shinozaki, you're all right. Class rep, oh, thank God, I was hoping we'd run into you. Me too, I was beginning to wonder what I'd do without you guys. She didn't say anything about the splinters all over her back. Yoshiki. Yeah, pretty sorry we, lot we've drawn, huh? No, God, poor Suzumoto. And Shunohara too, that's crazy. Oh yeah, Seiko. Sob. God damn it, she was just with us a few hours ago. Oh yeah, Mayu. Yeah, yeah. Smiling and laughing. Why, why, why is this happening to us? Pant, pant. Sigh, shudder. At any rate, let's make sure we don't lose anyone else. In fact, consider an order from your class rep. Shinozaki. We're gonna find Mr. Shido, Morishige, and Yuka. And get the hell out of here together. Yeah, you bet we are. Remember, the murder is Sachiko. If you run into her, be very careful. Based on what we've been told by Naho and Yuki, if we can get Sachiko to express remorse for her actions, then the three victims she killed will be appeased. The field around the school building will be lifted, and we should theoretically be able to get out of here and go home. Sachiko, the girl in the red dress. How do we get her to express remorse, though? That is the question. Well, what about you two? What can you tell us about this way out you mentioned? Not a lot, unfortunately. The reporter talked about some specific means of getting home, but he was cut off before he could explain it. He was looking for a blank tape, though, and it ended, so there's probably a continuation somewhere. Look for a label that says Kibiki Research Data. Wait, did you say Kibiki? Uh, yes, that's right. If we can figure out what sort of method he had in mind for getting out of here, we won't have to get mixed up with ghosts and curses anymore. It seems like it'd be a lot simpler than, how'd you put it, appeasing the spirits? The problem with that is, is it doesn't really fix anything. Escaping by putting the spirits to rest, that's the method Naho explained to me. And I don't think it's the same thing as Kabiki's way out. I'm guessing Naho wants us to put a stop to this once and for all to keep this curse from spreading any farther. If we leave things the way they are and just escape with our lives like you're suggesting, then countless innocent children are going to get pulled in here for god knows how many years to come and they're all going to die horribly. That may be true, but we're just high school students. How can you possibly expect us to set things right? There has to be a way to make Sachiko atone for her sins. There just has to be, and we're going to look for it. God, how can you just decide right off the bat that this plan has no chance of succeeding? There she goes. Is it because I'm the one who suggested it? The craziness is loose. What? No, of course not. Come on, we have to work together on this. How about the two of us look for more info on Kabiki's way out? And continue searching for Yuka, of course, while you two search for Miss Yui. Sounds good. Once everyone's been found, we'll meet back here. Satoshi, got something for you. Don't know what it is, but that girl ghost we made friends with said to give it to you. Come on, let's go. She doesn't want to give back the, uh, student ID. Class rep, take care, okay? Nakashima. Don't get too close to Mochita. Huh? Hey, Shinozaki. What the hell is that? Hey. What is it? Don't think you look discouraged enough. Try scowling some more. <laughs> Nakashima's student ID and the paper doll scrap. I forgot to give them back. Right. Forgot. We can do that later. There's no hurry. Really, things are starting to look up. This is definitely not the time to mope. I let my personal feelings cloud my judgment and spoke harshly towards a classmate for no reason. And I'm the class representative. Not here you aren't. Here you're plain old Ayumi Shinozaki, and you were just being honest. I probably would have been just as curt with her if I were in your shoes. Seriously? Eh, maybe. That actually makes me feel a little better. Thanks. Don't mention it. Really, though, even if we did track down Sachiko, I don't have the slightest idea how we could possibly elicit any remorse from her. Let's just try to find Miss Yui, and then even if we have to use that way out, 
Let's get the hell out of here, all of us together. Oh, you bet. You are now following multiple parties. You may only directly control one party at a time. You wish to switch. Right. And we will save first, and then I think reading the paper advances the plot. So we'll save and then we'll stop. Boom. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Make sure the kitties aren't underneath the chair. That vent is blowing air right on my face. I don't know why. Uh, but I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I really, I really do. Uh, this is this is fun, even though the subject matter is very dark. Um, and I hope my rambling is at least semi-interesting as well. I know I do it a fair amount, but. You know, like I said, I, I think I have some insights from time to time, and, and hopefully it's... I mean, it's not going to be useful to everybody, but hopefully to some it is. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for... Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> unique positive moment for today. For me, um, it's actually... I don't know if you're on Steam, the little... Uh, the, the trading cards or whatever, the trading cards, the digital things... I got a, a booster pack for uh, the game For the King the other day, and that's that's kind of cool. It didn't help me. It just gave me multiple copies of, like, the two cards that I've already got, so kind of useless, but I'll, you know, whatever, I'll take it. It's it's something, and uh, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course, and I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.